syphilis. Syphilis is caused by Treponema pallidum. It is a chronic, systemic, sexually transmitted disease which causes severe internal and external symptoms. Syphilis continues to be one of the most widespread sexually transmitted diseases since its first well-documented outbreak in the 15th century. According to the World Health Organization, there are approximately 12 million new cases every year. Syphilis can infect all genders. Syphilis infections can be divided into four phases. The first phase, also called primary syphilis, is characterized by the appearance of a hard chancre on the genitals. It may go unnoticed because it's painless in most cases. Secondary syphilis is characterized by rashes on the torso and limbs. After these two phases, it may progress to the latent phase which is asymptomatic, but the pathogen, Treponema pallidum, can still produce for many years, during which a serological test can be positive. Some patients may develop into the tertiary phase with brain, heart, skin, and bone damages, or even death. Syphilis infection during pregnancy is dangerous as it can cause miscarriage, stillbirth, infant death, or congenital syphilis. It is recommended that all pregnant women should be screened for syphilis. The gold standard test for syphilis is a dark field microscopy, which will clearly show the Treponema pallidum pathogen. However, it is not the most effective way to screen for syphilis. Serological tests have now been developed. Based on whether it is targeted to find reagents or antibodies, a serological test can be categorized as a non-treponemal test or a treponemal test. The latter, including TPPA, TPHA, ELESA, CLEAR, and rapid tests is designed to detect antibodies to Treponema pallidum. The former, including VDRL, USR, RPR, and TRUST, detect syphilis-induced reagents. Combining these two methods can help distinguish current and past syphilis infections. Among the various tests of the treponemal method, CLEAR has been widely used because it has high sensitivity and specificity a short TAT, and a high throughput with automation. Who should be screened for syphilis? Pregnant women, persons who have had unsafe sex or have had sex with someone infected with syphilis, or those who have suspected symptoms should seek medical advice and have a serological test to screen for the disease. Once diagnosed, the doctor will recommend the appropriate course of treatment and the required medication the patient should always inform any sexual partners. In summary, syphilis is widely transmitted, but it is easy to test and easy to cure. The advice to all is, practice safe sex to reduce the chances of contracting this disease.